Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop, and you're watching Pure Motion TV, and you're listening to the podcast, the podcast about merch. Let's go! What's going on, YouTube? Make sure y'all go copy y'all some Pure Motion merch. But check this out, though. About to answer some questions from that I've been getting on my Instagram. Got my phone here. We gonna get straight into these questions. I ain't gonna waste y'all the time. So, first question. How far down from the collar? You wanna do five fingers down from the collar, if possible. And if not, you can look on Amazon, and get you a, a ruler, but a shirt, a sizing ruler. And that'll definitely help you out too. They got adult size, regular size, kid size, baby size, and that'll help you with that. Next question. Is this printer required or will others be compatible? Others are compatible. You just gotta look for the ones that's compatible for your needs, for the size transfers that you're trying to print out. I use the 8550 because that's, I like the size that it go up to 12 by 12. So that's why I'm using 8550 but you can use other printers. Other printers are capable. They definitely have other Epson printers. Next question. How much is the printer? The printer is about, go from 500 to 700, probably depending on where you get it from. Uh, but you can go click the link down now and it's in the link and it'll show you and tell you how much it is and where you can get it from. Next question. What software do you use to create your designs? I use Procreate on the iPad. You can use Adobe Illustrator. You can use, it's, it's a lot that you can use. Just find what's good for you and what works for you. But I use Procreate. It's $30 for the app. Well, I don't know how much it is now, but when I bought it, it was $30 for the app. And that was just one time payment. It's not $30 a month. It was just, just $30 for the app. I don't know how much it is now, but the app is called Procreate. Check it out. Next question. Do you use Rip Software, is that in the ebook before I purchase? Yes, I do use Rip Software. Yes, it's in the ebook. Get the Rip Software. It's different versions. Get the version that's for your computer. Get the version that's, if you got Windows, get the Windows version. If you got Mac, get the Mac version. Just make sure you get the right version because it's not cheap to get the Rip Software. It definitely costs. It's different prices, so I can't really give y'all the price on that. Just click the link. Go to the real software, go to that website and check out all the different softwares. Next question. Could you start with a 12 by nine press or do you recommend a 15 by 15? I have access to a 12 by nine for the next to nothing. But don't mind buying a larger one if, it's, if that's too small. I keep seeing different opinions, but you, seem, you guys seem to just be straight to upsize. Eric is now stuck on the letter M. This question long as shit. Let me try that shit. Hold on. Could you start with a 12 by 9 press or do you recommend a 15 by 15? I have access to a 12 by 9 for the next to nothing, but don't mind buying a larger one if that's too small. I keep seeing different opinions, but you guys seem to just be straight up solid in your clips with information. Thank you. <clears throat> you could use a 12 by 9. You can use a 10 by 10. You can use a mini press. The thing is, you just gotta make sure you print it right. I mean, you press it right. You gotta make sure you apply enough power. And to use the 12 by nine to answer your question, when you uh pressing it, like say you pressing the shirt, you can't get the whole shirt on there with the whole transfer. All you gotta do, print that side down, print one side, slide the shirt up, print that other side, and you good. And if you get my transfers, they are a hot pill. So press one side, hot pill that half off, not all the way. Slide the shirt up, press that down, peel the rest off. And yes, you can print with that press. You don't have to have the exact size I said get. Next question. How do you get the design for the shirt or clothing? 
we make designs, I make designs, been drawing all my life. We got designers. All you have to do is click the link below, go to the website, purchase your design, send your information, we'll get your design whipped up for you. Easy money. That's how you get your designs. Next question. How do you get away from that dark square that sometimes end up on the shirt like it scorched the garment? I assume t I s he desperately tries to break the cycle. Shit. I assume turn down the heat, but then do we increase pressure to make sure it sticks? Use your Teflon sheet. Go get a Teflon sheet. That's why you got Teflon sheets. If you use a Teflon sheet, you're not going to burn your shirt ever at all if you're always using a Teflon sheet. Some people have their Teflon sheets on the heat press already like a, like they put it on the heat press magnets got it stuck to the heat press so they ain't gotta worry about keep putting it on and off me personally i put it on and off so i could make sure because i be doing other things with my heat press so like i say i do on and off and i like doing that so i could be more accurate so to get stop the dark squares and burning your clothes and garments use your teflon sheet if you don't use your teflon sheet you're gonna burn it Simple. Especially if it's white, it's gonna leave a stain. If it's color, it might leave a stain, but it's gonna leave a stain. Use a Teflon sheet. The Teflon sheet gonna protect it every time. Next question. Can I use an Epson XP7100? Yes, you can. It might just print a different size, but you can use that printer. You're welcome. And that is part one. Make sure y'all drop comments. Make sure y'all drop a like. Make sure y'all share this. And I'm going to be answering more questions. So we got YouTube questions. Come, I mean, YouTube comments coming up next. So make sure y'all drop y'all YouTube comments or the questions that y'all want to know. And I'm going to answer it. That's the next video that's dropping. Peace.